having an advantage and converting it are completely two different things and this game completely shows the same hey chess lovers welcome back to the chess yard this is dhaira bagga and i was playing against the terminator who has been terminated now from lee chess apparently and yes this game was interesting i got the advantage but as you see it was a draw eventually i couldn't convert it uh despite having the advantage now i don't know the reason maybe i played bad from there or my opponent was using some shady uh, tricks there to defeat me uh but couldn't uh, eventually because i found out a draw somewhere down the line so let's begin with this game i started off with d4 opponent goes knight f6 here comes bishop to g5 e6 my opponent and uh, now open this willing to give the knight for and then the queen activity will be there i went with e3 open plays d5 and i i play c3 just trying to play a london system kind of a setup where my bishop is out uh the levitsky attack the trompowski attack all have a similar kind of ideas uh open plays c5 uh, and i went with knight to f3 making sure that if, if the opponent takes i can take back with the knight open develops a knight to c6 and i place my knight to d2 connecting both the knights open plays a bishop to d6 preparing to castle on the king side i went with bishop to e2 uh, when you are developing the bishop you have to be careful where you want to go up with the bishop uh, generally the bishop spots are d3 or uh, b5 but here if i place it on b5 and opponent just plays bishop um, in between then i am not doing anything but i have to either get back or i have to take the knight and it's light square bishop which is an important piece you don't want to give it like that and problem with keeping it on d3 is open can simply play pawn forward and then you have to again move the bishop which is not really that bad because then you are trying to have queen side pawn breaks and then your queen side will get opened up my plan here was to castle on the queen side so i didn't want open to uh, push the pawns forward on the queen side much and then have a situation to where i have to break open it because i want to castle so my pawn structure here is very important to me so i don't want to get into that situation open castles and i go with queen to c2 open plays h6 trying to kick my bishop backwards which now comes to h4 still trying to maintain the pin on the knight and if the knight whatsoever moves of course the queen hangs if the queen moves i can take the knight uh and then uh, open will have to take back with the pawn which means the king will be wide open from the g file open takes the pawn here i take back with the knight open takes the knight again i have the same choice i want to take with which pawn open c file uh, will have my control for the time being but open will place the bishop up and get the rook active and then i i don't have any queen side play and if i am plan planning to cast on the queen side then this doesn't make sense at all so i should take be taking it with the e pawn that's what i did here uh, open goes back with the bishop to e7 i went with bishop to d3 lining up towards the king open plays b6 which means the open's bishop is likely to get on to uh, either c7 or to b6 here i played h3 just kind of a waiting move not making making sure that open doesn't know that which side i'm about to castle yet open plays a5 expanding more pawns towards the queen side i went with bishop to b5 for the time being open places bishop to a6 and now i take it open takes back with the rook and now i got my bishop back pushed to g3 i don't want to pin this knight anymore because after the knight comes here i am forced to take the bishop uh and then i don't know if if, that, if that's a good situation to be in because my bishop is looking quite handy here controlling the b file so open gets the bishop on d6 now and i didn't take it i place my queen on d3 just indicating that if you now take my bishop i can take back with the queen however my idea is different i'm attacking the rook as well that's what my opponent misses out takes on the bishop in a hurry and i take on the rook now i'm in advantage i'm plus 2 i'm a exchange up already now opponent has to save the bishop up goes back to h4 and allows me to castle and i thought okay casting is a good on the king side is better now because if i cast on the queen side suddenly open can get an extra pawn uh, the knight can hop into the queen will be out as well 
So I don't want that to happen. Also, after I castle, open plays h5, which was kind of weird. It's it's nothing of a move. Uh, it doesn't do any good to the opponent or me. Uh, so after this, I played knight to f3, important move again, trapping this bishop off. Opponent can just go back, but I'll still take, I can take it here as well. So I thought, okay, my opponent must be play, playing knight to e4 now, so that if I take, opponent takes back with the queen, and the pieces are at least on a better squares. But my opponent decides with g5, which was kind of a very strange move. Why would you try to spoil your pawn structure now after your exchange round? So I took on the bishop straightforward and opponent takes back with the pawn. Now these double pawns are going to be painful for the opponent, even if this game goes to an end game. I got my queen back to d3 now. Uh, I could have got it to e2 attacking the pawn, but I thought it was defended already. Uh, so I should not be doing that. That was my thought here. Uh, open gets the knight to e4 and I try to double up here uh, in the center. Have ideas of playing pawn forward or getting the rook lift done, attacking a pawn as well, maybe from f3. Uh, open gets the queen out on g5. Uh, so I got my queen on f3. Now I'm not scared of a fork as well, uh, because if that happens, which does, I take back, open takes back with the queen. Yes, the exchange is backwards, like open has got the exchange, which the open was down. But at least I have some compensation. I have these two pawns lying down. All I need to do is have a rook lift somehow and just checkmate eventually. That was my plan. I took on the pawn, open takes mine. I take another, uh, open takes another. And now I go with queen to f6, defending the pawn on d4. Open comes with queen to c2, attacking a pawn. I thought, okay, time to do the rook lift, getting the rook onto e1. Uh, now it's coming to e3, and then g3 would almost mean that it's a mate. Open gets back with the queen in time, queen to g6, offering queen trade. And now if I trade the queens, I'm in a bad position because my pawns, which are completely wide open, which can go forward, are easily controlled by the king. And meanwhile, opponent has some extra pawns, uh, which are connected ones. Meanwhile, my other pawns are isolated ones. So I thought, okay, it's a bad idea now to trade off the queens. So I got back my queen on e5. Opponent offers again the queen exchange, knowing that my weakness is these extra pawns around. So I went with queen to e3. Opponent goes in the open file, rook to c8. And I place my rook onto b1, attacking the pawn on b6. Open defense with the rook. And now I place my king on h2. Uh, and now queen to g6, my opponent. Uh, looks like opponent has left the control of the pawn, but it's attacking the rook. I have to make sure that what do I, where do I place my queen and the rooks now? So I went with a rook trade at least. We trade off because I'm not losing on the pawn right now. Opponent gets queen to f5 with the idea of if I move the queen ever, opponent can either uh, give a check and grab the pawn or can take my pawn straight away. I didn't have much options. I went for the open pawn. Uh, open gives a check, I sidestep, open takes the pawn. And now suddenly I see, okay, this is bad news for me. Open has got extra pawns in the center and controlling these with the queen around is kind of very close to impossible now. Unless open blunders the queen, which was unlikely to happen. The open has been offering me queen rates throughout. Uh, so I thought, okay, let me maneuver my queen. Queen gives a check and then I place it on d8. My idea here was to somehow try and find a repetition because nothing else is winning me this game. Open gives a check, I sidestep. Open gives another one, I sidestep. It was looking to me like Open is going for a draw, but I knew that won't because Open is pawns up. So Open takes another, now Open is two pawns up. Here comes a check and finally I found the repetition. Uh, open can go to H file, which does happen in between and I can repeat here as well. And after a few moves, which was completely repetitive, it's a draw. So it, I had an advantage in this game for sure when I was piece up, exchange up. Uh, and then these pawns were the trouble that I couldn't exchange stuff and win it from there. But eventually I saw the Terminator's account has been closed. I don't know if it was intentional or got terminated due to leeches by not following the guidelines. Anyway, I enjoyed it. Uh, I hope it was a instructive game for you as well and you liked it.
if you did please do subscribe to the channel as well uh, and i shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always thanks for your time take care bye bye